So next we're gonna go through just the setup for a TENS unit. Again, the first thing when you're going through your lab practicals, I always want you to ask the patient is, how are you most comfortable? We have to think about if they're gonna be on a modality for 10, 15, 20 minutes, um, or even five minutes, we need to make sure that they are in the most comfortable position that still allows us to apply the modality and get the desired effect that we're after with the tissue. So with a TENS setup at this point, typically with TENS, on your TENS unit, you will have the option of using one channel or two channels. With this setup, we are gonna do a bipolar setup, which means that we only need one channel, and that has a positive and a negative lead. Uh, when I went through school, they went through the analogy that you wanna have smoke over fire. So if the red lead is the fire and the black lead is the smoke, most of the time you'll want to apply um, the setup to be in that, that um, arrangement. Okay. So if we're going to use just a bipolar, then we will only need two electrodes. It's always a good idea to make sure that the, the skin is clean and dry. If it feels oily or um, excessively sweaty, make sure that you try and dry the tissue or even use an, uh, an alcohol wipe to clean the tissue. Your electrodes will last a lot longer if you can remove as much of the oil off of the skin as possible. So in this situation, again, if we're treating his low back, he's got a lot of um, acute muscle strain and guarding and spasm here. So we're going to apply one electrode on one side, one electrode to the opposite side. And there are a number of different arrangements based off what your goal is with the use of TENS unit. If, you, if you're just having more muscle guarding and pain on one side, then of course our arrangement might be that we apply um, the electrodes to just one side of the paraspinals or the other side. Next, we're gonna demonstrate IFC in which we will use a quadpolar setup. So in this situation, I have one lead, a positive and a negative. So we will apply the electrodes from there. You could also apply a hot moist pack over this in addition if you wanted to combine a couple of modalities at the same time or an ice pack. A lot of times we will use ice packs with these as well. So one more time before we initiate, what I wanted to know is um, do you have any other metal in your body? Just to kind of reiterate that. Nope. No. And do you have any kind of a me mechanical device it's like an insulin pump or a baclofen pump? Okay. I do not. And you do not have a pacemaker? Nope. And no active cancer in this part of the body? Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So from this point, we will turn our machine on. We should kind of already go through and set up where we want our parameters based off whether this is an acute situation, a subacute situation, or a chronic pain situation. And those parameters and outlines will be going through much more detail in lecture and of course in lab. So in this situation, we've already got things set up. I'm gonna go with a modulated frequency so we're gonna slowly begin to turn up, very slowly, and then you tell me when you first feel a little bit of a tingle. I can feel it now. You start to feel a tingle, mm -hmm. and then I want it to be fairly strong, but comfortable to you, okay? So you tell me when. Right now. Right now. So again, if we look at the tissue, the one things that we're really looking at is most of the time, unless I'm trying to control edema or if I'm in a real chronic situation in which noxious stem is, a, is required, then I really don't want the muscle tissues jumping around and twitching and fasciculating. So in that situation, he's on at a comfortable level but strong. We can combine this with another modality and then we're gonna let him comfortably rest and I'm gonna check in with him every couple of minutes and or give him a call light or a bell.